Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fableheim and the beginning of a new journey. Today, at the time of this recording, well, I guess it just turned midnight, huh? Anyway, <laughs> the Prophet in the World just came out, and of course, we will be playing the Warlock, Ikit Claw, in the Mortal Empire's world domination, which is definitely something he would do. So, in Mortal Empires, Clan Scryer's initial challenge is hard. Their faction effects, they gain access to the Clan Scryer Forbidden Workshop, which has all sorts of fun things. Their research rate is increased by 20%. They gain plus two loyalty to all new recruits. The construction costs for engineering buildings is reduced by 40%. And for Ikit Claw himself, he starts the campaign with one. Warp Storm Rocket Doom Rocket, excuse me, which is basically a nuclear bomb. Upkeep, minus 50% for Warp Lock Gisales Rattling Guns and Warp Fire Thrower Weapon Teams. And of course, plus two recruit rank to all Skaven Weapon Team units. His additional starting units are the Doom Flayers. Yes, we're going to lawnmower some fools. He gets a, a Rattling Gun Weapons Team and... Warplock Gisales. These are all the new units that Skaven received, so naturally he would get all of them. Makes sense. For the uh, difficulty, we're going to be testing my skills here, going very hard campaign and very hard battle. Now, last I knew, very hard does not change a whole lot as far as the AI is concerned. It just makes them more aggressive and gives them cheats. So additional income, uh, penalties, no penalties of public order, stuff like that. As of course, we are playing Skaven. We've already played Skaven on the channel, but just in case you haven't seen that, the Skaven attributes, the new one actually, so this is for everyone, the Skaven Under Empire. Establish warrants in any settlement undermining your enemy's progress or hide in plain sight while growing your own empire. This is a new mechanic that came in with the Doomsday update, which was released yesterday now. And I don't actually know how it works, so we'll be playing around with that. The food... Maintain food supplies to gain growth and other bonuses and to avoid starvation penalties. The irritating part of playing Skaven. And of course, Skaven corruption is a detriment to local public order, but allows you to spawn additional units of clan rats to fight in battles with the menace below army ability. And without further ado, let us begin our conquest for world domination. He was given Chief Emissary of the Clan. Ooh, fancy. I think it's funny, even in his actual lore, they, he just wants to bring Apocalypse to the world outside of Skaven Blight. Good, good. That's the plan. Man. Supreme Warlock Master, your knowledge of science and sorcery is unsurpassed. This is your chance to experiment and make the world your playground of diabolical weaponry. Perhaps the Estalians could be your first test subjects. They may well be harboring a wealth of warpstone and will surely offer little resistance to a carefully aimed Doom Rocket. To the north, the Bretonian dukedoms fight for honor and chivalry. Yet they have a soft underbelly, which could easily be exploited by Scryers under Empire. Many greenskins dwell in the mountains north of Tilea. They do not know it yet, but both they and the Tileans could prove useful fodder in furthering your research. Your workshop awaits you, my lord. Let the power of Warpstone be felt by all through the explosive experiments of Ikit Claw. Thank you, advisor. That was an excellent summary, except you missed one thing. We have one Warpstorm Doom Rocket and five Warp Fuel, which I think is the new currency for the Forbidden Workshop. Here we are. Forbidden Workshop lets Clan Scryer go crazy with their ideas by spending Warp Fuel and food. They can develop and upgrade the most powerful war machines, weapons team, and weaponry known to Skaven kind, including devastating doom rockets. 
Excellent. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack two different settlements. Thank you. We start with one warlock engineer. Did you get new talents? Needs errands to prove his worth. It does not seem like you did. Now, we probably want him in our army just for triangulation. Because we have a lot of missile units. My technocracy. Quack's call. But as I was going to say, increased mobility, that helps too. Intact. The advisor's overall summary, his uh, loose suggestions to you, they're good and all. But we have a problem that he did not mention. Science. Over here. Is it there? Yes, right here. There is a particular undead fiend by the name of Count Noctilus. And if you have played a campaign... Yeah, we're going to go take Tobaro. If you have played a campaign since the Vampire Coast has come out... I don't think I want to. Yeah, we're going to save it because we are playing on very hard. I've only done... One campaign on Very Hard Before that was successful, so this will be uh, fun for both of us, hopefully. But as I was saying, if you've played a, any Mortal Empire campaign since the release of the Vampire Coast, for whatever reason, Count Noctilus makes a beeline straight to Skaven Blight. He goes and he fights Estalia, kind of like we're doing right now, and then he goes straight to Skaven Blight. So I am more than a little wary of his uh, presence. And then, of course, we have... Uh, What's her name? What is her name? The Sartosa Lady. Why can't I think of her name? She's nearby too. So this is the new unit, the Warplock Gisales. If you have not seen them already, they are awesome. Probably the best unit that Skaven got. They are very long range snipers, 300 range. They're basically artillery and you should treat them as such. Their missile damage is 39, which is pretty good. 30 of that is armor piercing, but they also have Shield Breaker, which reduces the Missile Parry by 24. They also have Silver Shield, so that they are resilient against enemy fire. 22 ammo. Not the greatest, but we can work on that. These are the Rattling Gun Weapon Team. Now, these guys are cool. And they do a ton of damage. But they also have a unique mechanic called Suppressed. I believe this is the only unit in the game that does have Suppression. It... The slow is quite noticeable, 36% is a lot. And their damage is uh, distance-based. The closer you get to the Rattling Gun team, the more damage you're going to take. I think it's about 60 range of their damage reaches critical, and they just shred everything. It's glorious. These are the Doom Flayers, the younger cousins of the Doom Wheels, also invented by Ikit Claw. They're cool. They excel at dealing with infantry. They can kind of bog down um, cavalry, but they aren't really meant to kill them. So we're going to use them to just run through things. And of course, last but not least in our current army, Ikit Claw himself. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't he the most glorious of rattlings? He has both Blood and Warpstone channeling into that pack. So here we go. The Warplock Gisales are going to do their thing. We'll probably have them shoot into the leader. Because, of course, this is a settlement battle. We don't need to kill them all. We just need to break them. So I'm going to try... I've never seen the Rattling Gun team really used. Uh, I did watch the Ever Chosen, and I don't think they made an appearance, really. So I'm going to try and use them myself as kind of like a front gun line so that as people approach, the Rattling Gunners will mow them down and then we'll move in from the back with our actual front line. Make sense? I hope so. Let's have the Doom Flayers have a little fun. Have a little fun? Let them have a little fun. Look at those Gisales tearing into them. Boop. Oh yes, and when these guys are in melee, they get the best defense. 24 additional armor, and they already have a ton, so it is good. The Rattling Gunner fire has begun. Look at these happy little guys. We'll have them shoot this army as it approaches, because these guys do not have shields. Look at them go. 
Look at this slow debuff. It's insane. I'm moving at 20 speed. Even orcs are faster than that. The Gisales have done their duty. We could send the Doom Flayers out to make sure they stay dead. But I'm going to defend the Rattling Gunners. Oh, look at that damage. It's insane. All right, now we'll pull back with you guys. We can have the Gisales shoot down that guy. And of course, let's get our Lords in here. Try not to hit our own units with the Warp Lightning, as tempting as it is. I'm just going to pick this up. What is this? Oh, you start with the Brass Orb. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. So the Brass Orb is a special vortex that instantly occurs. Instantly spawns that tiny little vortex. It is unique in that manner, and we won easily. That was a good demonstration of the new units. I like them a lot. I think the Rattling Gun weapon team is going to be really good in PvE. Like when we're just playing in the campaign, which is pretty much all I do. And really not so great <laughs> in multiplayer. That's just my gut feeling. And I'm pretty sure other people have that opinion too. But we'll see what the future holds. It's hard to say what the meta is going to be uh, now with these new units and stuff. Decisive victory. 109 kills on the Gisales. Oh, glorious. Okay. Countdown. So this is exactly oh, like... Okay, stop talking. Hmm. Some warp fuel has been gained, warp my fuel. lord. The canisters of this potent concoction enable you to research improvements in the forbidden weapon. Ah, it's a button. So it's just like the sacrifice the for... The forbidden workshop contains multiple Ooh. research divisions. Each set of upgrades improves a war machine or weapons team with a division okay. dedicated to the construction of doom rockets. With enough warp fuel and food, available upgrades can be researched. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So it appears these all what, have their what? own... 21 gigawarps! <laughs> <laughs> gigawarps. Boom. Doom rockets. Uh, we have one already. I don't feel the need to build another doom rocket. Okay, so these are buffs for the doom rockets. Ooh. I like the additional winds of magic. So for now, I think we're going to buff the weapons team. I mean, honestly, I could... I don't care at all about the warm fire thrower weapons team. Sorry, guys. You kind of suck. Stalker for all... Oh. Our piercing damage or block Gisales. I really like the Gisales. So we'll get that. And I think I'm going to get this as well. The Forbidden Workshop has been put to good use, my lord. Thank you, advisor. However, some parts remain unavailable due to the current limitations of the facility. By increasing the level of the Forbidden Workshop, more upgrades can be unlocked. Could you tell me? Ah, here we go. Kill 1,000 enemies in battle. Ensure that the following building has been constructed. Warpstone tractor beam. And use a doom rocket in battle. Hmm, okay. Oh, this is a banner. Okay, sweet. I do... I did forget to say start. Because... We always go root marsher. Because this is obviously the new patch and everything, I do not... Er, several of the mods are outdated, and I did not run them anyway. So I'm just running my basic mods, you know, skip uh, skip the intro, make the, the end turn phases shorter, so on and so forth. I think probably want growth. Growth is good. And we can put a commandment in place. Growth is good. So I haven't played a whole lot of Vampire Coast. I know the gist of how they work. And I'm only bringing that up because... The Under Empire seems like a slightly more expanded version of their outpost things. So is it worth going places, destroying the army there, and then building an Under Empire thing? Or should it just be totally for agents to do? Heroes. Because I was thinking... 
I could send in a hero off to where Count Noctilus spawns, the Galleon's Graveyard, and infest it with an Under Empire there, because we're going to be fighting him sooner rather than later. I'm probably going to have to fall back to Skaven Blight uh, to begin recruiting clan wraps, because Skaven slaves aren't going to get me a whole lot. <laughs> they aren't going to go very far, if you know what I mean. Apparently, lore-wise, Ikit Claw is known for his, shall we say, careless use of Skaven slaves. My lord, the forbidden workshop is ready for your inspection. I know. It is your personal laboratory of death, where new vehicles... You have enough warp fuel canister... I feel like those should have been, uh... All that should have been said before I used the forbidden workshop. So let's get some clan rats with shields in here. We're going to need some defense against missiles. The ferocious plan. And we will of course keep an eye on Tobaro because a rebellion will happen sooner rather than later. By the comet. Ah, oh, Sartorius's garrison is nasty. Oh, I should have looked to see what my diplomatic relationships were with people. Oh well. I imagine everything around here hates me. That's kind of my gut feeling here on this. Also, I wanted to say that pretty much everyone and their brother, people that got press access early and probably many more will be doing Ikit Claw Mortal Empire campaigns, because that's just kind of what the character is. World domination type. But, you know, I wasn't going to change because other people were doing it. This is what I wanted to do. So it's what I'm doing. But I did resist the urge to watch them. I have not seen this campaign at all. So all of my reactions and all of my strategies are my gut instinct and will probably fail because of that. I just wanted to share that with everyone. Driven by hunger. Would have been nice if I had that before I recruited all my clan rats. Oh. So that army is there. Let us check diplomacy before I forget. We are friendly with the beastmen. Huh. I would say I'm surprised, but I'm not. I don't mind a defensive alliance with him, really, even though it'll make us go to war with everything. Yeah, never mind. We need to go find some friends. Who calls? Or make some Ready friends. I actually wouldn't mind befriending Aranessa. She's not really going to take territory that I want, I don't think. Especially if I go after Tilia first. We'll see. Dark and of course, yeah. Carcassonne hates me. Not surprised. I'm not quite sure where to go first, to be honest. Hmm. We could try and befriend Arnest, as I was saying, and then force our own war with Tilia. Maybe. Or we could hop the mountain and go harass the Fae Enchantress. That could be funny. He's raiding in my territory. Bold. That is a bold move, sir. I'm kind of hoping Tobaro gets a... I'm not kind of hoping. I will allow a rebellion to happen at Tobaro, so then we can stomp it down. A few turns. Warlock Engineer. I should have gotten the increased mobility, but, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda. I see. We have a ton of special. The Council Chamber of the Thirteen. I knew there'd be special buildings. Public order faction wide, public order load recruit, tax rate faction wide, untainted all regions, global recruitment capacity faction wide, and the Shattered Tower. The impossibly high tower reaches from the darkest depths to scrape the sky. At its tip, the bell of the horned rat. Huh. Cool. 
Landmark buildings are one of my favorite things in this game. I'm glad we got some. We can build some gutter runner Whoa, stuff. <laughs> so what are we going to do while we're building the gutter runners? That's going to take like three turns. Do we just go after the cargo? I don't remember. Does this... Ooh, the iron frame. 10 armor, 5% magical resist, 5% physical resist, 10% weapon strength. Build Bali is already a ruin. Is that normal? I'm going to go see if this is a fight. Yeah. Could I win if it's a fight? I actually don't know. Let's just ugh, get rid of our skavens, our slaves. We'll just sit here and build. Be boring for a little bit. Actually, which of the uh, agents is it that builds the Under Empire? That's something I should look into. I have so many questions. War declared. Carcassonne and Beast Men. Boy, am I glad I didn't get a defensive alliance with them now. Is this little thing like a warp fuel? Is it going to tell me? Tilia is now at war with us. I'm shocked. I wonder if I should... Uh, probably put points into ambush, huh? Improving my ambush. Oh, unique building chain. Miraculiano has a unique building chain too, huh? Kill How curious. One more turn before we can Kill recruit. Gutter runners. <laughs> How do you guys compare? You just have more melee defense. We'll get one more spear, I think. Three is a good number. Stuck. And then... Uh, Probably the rest with... Get rid of you. The rest of them be slingers and stuff. From the new building we're getting. And then we'll go see what the fell cargo is. It's been a while since I've gone island hopping. I might be doing that a lot this playthrough. Oh, the chaos corruption is from the beastmen. I'm like, wait a minute. Scaven corruption doesn't look like this. It looks like this. Oh, I didn't look at the heroes. That did not take very long. Goodbye, my only ally. Very hard AI or scary. Alrighty. So Night Runners. These are the skirmishing variant. And these are the non-skirmishing variant. I'm not huge on the skirmishing. So I usually get these. The only difference is really that. Alright. Now, heroes. Exo suit ready. How do I see? Might see many, many worse. I will not do, 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 do. I know what I'm looking for, I promise. Rock engineer. Can heroes do it or do I have to actually go fight them? Deadly plague. Ah, the Doom Engineer. Yeah, they're established under Senior cause a catastrophic earthquake. Okay. And we can do that in three turns. Time has flown by. Was that clan... I almost said Angmar. That's definitely not in this game. She's going after the coast of Araby, so I could... Ally with her. Just take Tilia for myself and then 
let her be on her way. There's a special building in Sartosa too. Sartosa's garrison is nasty though. I really don't want to deal with it. More raiding in Tobaro. Woo. Oh, there's another Chilean army. Are they going to try and come for me? That would be funny. That would be hilarious. Lack of food can be a great motivator. Hmm. I would like growth. Campaign movement range is good. Probably get clash casualty replenishment rate first. Before we do anything else. Escaping Blight itself has pretty good defenses, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, this garrison is nuts. Yeah, there's no way. I could go across the ocean and take Lucini. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Lucini? However you pronounce it. Let's go check out this cargo first. And... I wish I could set that to all. Rats are no strangers to ships. Meh. Tobaro, hello. You get an upgrade. Let us see where Talea goes. I'm pretty sure the army currently in Miragliano cannot reach Skaven Blade. In time. It would take them two turns. Because the area surrounding Skaven Blight is all marshy. Which makes them really slow. Oh, they're going for it. If it's just that army, though, I could totally take that on in a garrison fight. Are you underestimating me, Talea? I know that you're slightly more aggressive with the whole very hard bit. Oil on water. Water trip, go! Ho, ho, ho. Is this greedy? Ho, oh. ho, ho. It's a little greedy. A little greedy. Wow, two food takes me down to the orange. Okay. All right, then. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you the power of the warp lock Giselle. It does kind of suck that these are always aquatic maps and... Skaven, not particularly known for their fondness of water. I could try and... Oh, hey, look, it's not aquatic. I lied to you guys, I guess. I thought these always... Oh, no, the, the islands are based on where you are, huh? Okay, never mind then. Ignore what I just said. So I think we'll have the rattling guns down here, everything else up here. I'm just going to make a wall of the normal ones. And then we'll have spears kind of. I only want to get hanging around to do whatever needs to be done. To have their bodies break upon their foes. And of course the Night Runners are just going to be pebbling the uh, zombie pirate gunnery mobs. Death devices charged. We might need to be we, not, <laughs> we might be using a very early doom rocket. 17's enough. So they are coming towards us. The Gisales will be able to shoot the rotting leviathan. Zoom Tien. We do have one menace below. 
Okay, so the War of Lactor Zales are shooting that. Good. Oh, I don't know if I want to use this. I don't know what the, how long it takes to come down or anything. It would be very risky to move forward with the Doom Flares because the pole arms are there. I know the rattling guns are not really meant for this, but I'm going to use them to try and kill this quickly. Just put all of my ammunition into it. Look at it drop. Drop it like it's hot. Oh. Doom flares are going in. Okay. Whew. We did it. We killed the thing before it came here. Now, where are the depth guard? Were there depth guard? I don't even know. I don't even know. Now, Ikikwa does have his own... Um, What do you call it? Flamethrower. Yes, yes. We are going to have the spears back here as defense. Shoot that. We want the Doom Flayer running through things. If we can. The polearm deck mobs will beat uh, clan rats. They're not that good. I don't really want them fighting them. They go oh, this way. Think the rattling don't think the rattling gunners can see anything. This is going well. I was worried for a little bit. Still kind of am. Can have the Doom players chase this down and have the clan rats come back to this. It gets just blowing fire into his own men. Very Skaven strategy. Boom. 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 We took quite a bit of damage, but it went very well. Killing that Rotting Leviathan was beautiful. It was a work of art. I knew it. This army was built to stop Vampire Coast. That was my whole point. There were Death Guard. And they, it didn't mean anything. Oh man, I'm happy. Now if only Count Noctilus can go kill... Estalia real quick. Can you just take care of them for me real quick? We are going to have to grab food, I think. Because we are running low. Lost cargo. 30 growth! Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You're going to force march into Tobaro. We'll delay the rebellion a little bit, but... I really don't want to get cunning. I mean, I do. But there's so much other things I could get. And the best part is Ikit Claw's mounts. Doom Flare at level 7. Doom Wheel at level 15. He is... The best. He is my favorite. So do we want damage? <laughs> Funny question. Of course we want damage. I've been sending the war the uh, warlock engineer into melee, but I think we're going to be keeping him back with our range and Giselles because he gets that one buff around him, I think. But I don't remember if it's just artillery or if it's all missile type units. I'll have to check. If Talea is just coming into Skaven Blight to raid, I'm going to be slightly miffed. Just a little bit. You've come this close to my territory. Just go in. You'll be fine. Nothing could possibly, possibly go wrong. 
I was lying, by the way. Everything can go wrong. But see how little they can move in the Skaven Blight territory? It's a it's almost more of a defense than the walls on Skaven Blight. Now we've put two points into Ancient Cunning, or whatever it's called. Because I'm wary of things. Wait, can you not? He doesn't even have ambush stance. But he can ambush on attack with this. Chance of ambushing. And they are in range. The enemy failed to spot your ambush. See, I love it when everything goes according to plan. We are going to use one menace below. Probably just to... I'm not sure yet. Which kill device to use? Hmm? Good question. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this because crossbows are really annoying. We'll probably need the Doom Flayers to back up the front line fighting against the state troops. The Gisales. Probably be shooting down the Lord, to be honest. Begin deployments. 19 is good. Ooh, this is very good for us. So we can put the Rattling Gunners up here, and they can see down there. I think this is a slightly more clear position. Ho, 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 ho. It's going to be gorgeous. Now, the only issue are the Pistoliers. Not really that they're an issue, but that... I don't have anything that can chase him down. They're really fast. I mean, I could... I really don't want to skip out on this position, but I could put the Rattling Gunners down here and just pummel them. Or if the Gisele shoot them. I don't know. Why don't these guys do it? Kill the Pistoliers right away. Because nothing over here will try and charge towards the Rattling Gunners. We're going to want the Gisales farther away, though. We can shoot him. The Night Runners can help out too. Just like in a pinch, they can actually fight in melee. Well, I'll put them back a little bit more. Try not to invite them into our house. And then, of course, one giant line of clan rats. More this way. They'll just be charging in. And then we'll have our oop, spears over here, just in case. Put these two together just for now. We're going to be using the Brass Orb to great eff efficacy here. And of course, the Doom Flayers will have charging back in to help the front line. Okay. Are we ready? I think so. Shoot him. Shoot. Nope. Ah, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> Messed up already. I wanted the Rattling Gunners to shoot them. Oh well. And this is why... I had the spears here. Nope. Hey, come the back. We move, move. Our tail is yours. So the slingers are firing all happy like. We definitely don't want any of the archers to escape. Doom Flayer. Master of Masters. Board of Doom Flayer's coming over here to help out. Clan Rat Spears. Ickit Claw. You can send him in. Have Ickit. I guess shoot that. I like the range on this lightning ability. I don't use it as much as I should, I don't think. Warpel is an accurate description of what's happening here. The Gisales have killed him, so... Oh, I didn't mean to actually kill him. I meant, you know, shatter him. Oh well. We can use the Brass Orb soon. 
Everyone's happy. Those spears will hold. We do want to try and kill as much as possible because this is our first attack on this army. And they were in raiding, not force march, unfortunately. Where should I put this? Hmm. This is a pretty good range as well. That's nice. I love the instant cast on it. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot that can chase things down effectively. The Gisales will just shoot whatever is in range. Which is quite a bit. And the Doom Flayers will chase what they can. Things are going swell. Use some lightning, I think. Ooh, I timed that well. That was not what I expected to happen. Not too far. But the Warlock Engineer is batting them. Let's see. What else is happening? Where are my Gisales? They are tired. Ooh. Ah, oh, all their ammo's gone. Rip. Oh, I didn't put the, um... The banner on anyone. I should have done that. Is anyone else fighting? Alright. We did well. Good job, everyone. Specifically the Gisales and Rattling Gunners who demolished the enemy army. The Warp Lightnings were good as well. And I'm glad the Clan Rats held. I was afraid of them buckling for a minute. Slingers putting in work as always. Good, 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 good. An excellent position to be in. Decisive victory. Has no Flesh, the best medicine. <laughs> this dude's voice lines are Serve 10 out of 10. Good master. job, CA. Chief Warlock, it claw. <laughs> do I even want this now that we don't... I'm aware. Oh, we do have an ambush stance. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Good. Now then. Do we get lightning strike? Ah, mm, probably not. We have so many points to spend. Look at all this stuff. Power overload. One of his abilities is called... Do we not get it here? It might be this. He has an ability called uh, Unlimited Power somewhere. Might just be in uh, multiplayer. But every time I see it, I just think of Palpatine. And it makes me very happy. What is our scheme? The dominating scheme. Ooh. Oh, we can't do this until we research three technologies. So... I should hold off until we're recruiting new stuff. More Maybe. I can't make it back to Tabaro, and they could attack me with both their armies, but I want them to, because they are both incredibly weakened. As far as Talea, they... Oh, I didn't check their army, but I don't think they can go in without building stuff. Even if they can. Uh, the Scheme Blight defenses were pretty good. Wouldn't it be really embarrassing if I lost Skaven Blight in the first episode? That was a trick question. It would be very embarrassing. <laughs> no, no, no. I have faith in myself. The walls of Skaven Blight will stand, no matter how rickety and mossy. Yep, look, they ran. Settlement besieged. Oh no, whatever will I do? Definitely not just use my underway to s take a skip and a hop back to Skaven Blight. 
skitter and leap. Quite literally. I can strike Magri Magritta from here. Oh, that's so tempting. But we don't have... What are we going to put here? Probably walls. Oh. I didn't know that this gave income. Now. Cool. More warp stone. Now, now. Boop. I actually don't know if I'm close enough to Skaven Blight. I can find out, though. Well, doesn't matter. I guess I was. He ran away. Not likely. Absolutely not. What even is his army? I should have waited one more turn. Not give him the free movement. But he cannot move very far. The only issue is I don't think I can move very far either. Oh, now it's telling me I'm reinforcing. Good. Thanks, game. Good job. There is a bug on my screen. Go away. Shoo. I would like to see. I mean, it was a tiny bug, but it, you know, was bugging me. First episodes are always the best, aren't they? Not a whole lot gets done. Oh well. Part of me feels like I should have kept pressing. But as I was saying, we don't have a siege attacker. So I would have had to sit there and build stuff, and then they would have done that and come back in. I don't think I can reach him and attack. Which is unfortunate. I would love to do that. Although I think I can ambush on this guy. Always more besides. The scheme of doom. Income from sacking. I don't really feel like sacking too much. I mean, we are using... We will be using clan rats for a while. So it wouldn't hurt to get these two. But I like growth. So we go to growth. And it's free food. No free food is good. Yeah, I can't reach him. I can. Ambush is 25, right? Yeah. Stalk. Yes, yes. So if we go like... Here's 28. Can I get... No. Go, go, so we go, go here and ambush and see what happens. Skaven Blight's pretty mad. Difficulty level, minus four. Thanks, game. What's your back oh, I should have gotten the Scheme of Doom. I think... Hmm. We can build... I can do that next episode. It's fine. We'll save our money and stuff. I'm debating whether or not I want to build Bodelo in Sartosa, huh? Debating if I want to build Under Empire in Miragliano. Because its garrison is pretty rough. And also hope we could peace out with them. Maybe I could kill Sartosa. <laughs> I don't have any magic damage at the moment besides my actual spells. So fighting the Sirenes would be weird. <laughs> Boop. God, I love the Skaven. Oh, I bet I have to equip the banner, don't I? 4% isn't enough to eat. Up. You're back. Hello. He's like, I don't see Ikke Claw on the map anymore. He's definitely not here. We're going to come back for part two. Good job, AI. Good job. United against us. Broken nose. Who invited the orcs? I think more things could be around. Tilia. Tilia invited the orcs. I'm sorry. What? 
bigger warp forges. Bigger warp forges. Lightning strike is kind of sort of tempting, but I don't think so. <laughs> Jetpack. What's this? Adrenaline rush. Power surge now. Exploding through. Yes, 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 yes. Available to spinning two points. Passive ability. If I'm casting, I get 40% armor piercing damage and unbreakable. Huh. Be wary of one who can re-energize himself in the middle of battle, lest the tide be turned. Passive ability, second wind serum. If casting, replenish hit points of combatants, plus 12 melee defense. Okay. Well, I'm going to get some stuff here because we're about to be rolling hot on a Doom Flare. On the hills. Do I just ignore this guy and let him no. come in? Warp power. <laughs> Ambush success chance 90%. But I can't get anywhere near him. And they are rebuilding quite quick. Quite quickly, although their garrison is awful. I refuse. He refused, huh? Demon. I feel like this garrison can hold this army. Is that weird? Where are my schematics? Should I not be feeling that? Because I am. My technocracy. Screw it. We'll go this way. I'm tired of playing chicken feet with you, Talia. I don't even know if that's what it's called. I couldn't remember. Playing footsie with you? I don't know. We'll see if we can get Magritha, though. Because that would be very helpful in holding this province. Having another capital city. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. I'm just going to let him do it, too. It is kind of annoying that that stops me from upgrading to rank 3, though. Science. Sorcery. Death. So, they have spawned in a new that. lord. There's technically 16 people plus 8. 24 plus the settlement itself. It <laughs> Bilbali is a part of this, but it's ruins at the moment. Is it actually ruins, or is that more Skeven? I don't think so. What to do? What to do? I know, we're sieged. It's okay. Calm down. Am I really about to do this? No. No, I'm not. What I am about to do, though... Enemies to track. Mm, Eighty-five percent. Can we get the seat, the ambush, any better? Here's a hundred percent. Let's see what happens. Travel now, now. Worst case scenario, they walk past me towards my territory. I can ambush them from behind. Win, win, win. I wonder what sort of siege buildings Tilea is going to use. Like, are they going to sit there and build whole siege towers, or are they just going to go in with a ram? A YOLO ram? I shouldn't mock the YOLO ram strategy, because that's what I use, but... <laughs> I'm not controlling the enemy towers, now am I? Additionally, in Skaven Blight, we have 100% Skaven Corruption, which means we can use a lot of Menace Below. Is it, what, five? 
something like that. They're not doing anything, huh? They're just sitting there, letting me walk past. I wonder if I go back into my territory and enter in camp, will they come out and attack me because they'll think they're stronger than me? Also, it's moments like these that make me want to get uh, lightning strike. Not likely. Skyrim's greatest, best inventor. Scary mode. Moon camp. We'll we'll mock them. We'll make them come out to us. I wonder what happens. Skaven Blade's deteriorating pretty quickly. 80. Two turns for a rebellion. I wonder what the rebellion will do to Tilea's army. Maybe they'll just ignore each other. That would be funny. Dahlia? I'm sitting here openly mocking you, and you didn't do anything. Really? Also, do you only have one settlement in that many armies? Or that much upkeep? Really? And Talia is still sitting there. I'm more afraid of the rebellion that's about to happen to Skaven Blight than I am of Talia. Yeah, two turns. Fine. You're also boring. Anyone else? I am liked by Sartosa. Might be worth getting trade with them because they salt spite. Harm me or my ship and risk the wrath of Manan. No. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we send our first Doom person over to Sartosa to establish an under empire. I think that would be amusing. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that'll be our climactic conclusion for today. Because both of these armies are just playing, they're just fishing with me. They're wondering who will take the bait. Well, that's what I'm doing with them, really. They're just being annoying and dancing back and forth. And there are a lot more Skaven clans now. Which I guess is a good thing. For me. <laughs> Not so much for Tenhoin. 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 Really? You gave up that easily? Come on, man. I just want to kill you. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. You might go kill the what else. <laughs> Actually, it's probably a terrible idea. They're all sitting in their trees, hiding. We don't know what their other army looks like. Engineer. I think I can reach Skaven Blight from here. If I jump, I think I can. I just want the Republic Order here to be better. Uh, no. We want to get more ammunition because we did run out in that one ambush. We're going for campaign movement range, and of course, the Doom Engineer. Because this is going so swimmingly. No, don't go there. Go through the water. Hey, look. A tier 3 settlement. I know there's going to be a rebellion. I don't know if I have ever gotten a tier 3 settlement when I just control one of the territories. Huh. That might be a first. I 
I can take this guy. If this rebellion builds um, catapults, I can take it from it, right? Catapults? Is that what I just said? Uh, catapults. I can take it from them, right? Hey, look, the widows are going after the orcs. Yay. Congratulations. Well, they're green skins in this game. Because there's both orcs and goblins. And now they pulled back completely. Oh, I really think I'm going to need lightning strike. For those who don't know, I mean, it's an hour in, so it may be late to say this. Lightning Strike allows you to attack just one army if you're fighting multiple. So if I wanted to go after Miragliano right now, one of them is in the settlement and there's the garrison and one's outside. I'd be able to Lightning Strike the one outside and it wouldn't pull in either the army inside or the garrison. That's a new animation. Cool. I don't really care about charge bonus. You do have catapults. I'm going to be sitting in Tabaro until this plus 20 goes away, because that means they're done recruiting. Also, I might dump one of my random units. To improve the upkeep. And I mean, it's not going to affect upkeep much. But to see if I can get one of these catapults. Because that would be awesome. We're going to go to Sartosa and see what we can do. Oh, look at all these buildings. <laughs> so we can get this. Food generated. Income. Winds of magic power reserve. Research rate. Okay, the food's not new. Unfortunately. Okay, rat ogres. We're going to need new stuff. What do we want? Do we want plague monks? Probably want this, huh? Artillery is good. Artillery is good. I mean, if we have the money, we can get all of it, but we don't at the moment. Actually, that gets a reduction because we're special. We don't need that. I guess we're going for both. I don't really care about Plague Monks, right? Oh, but this gives me lore of Plague. Do I care about Lore of Plague? Not as much as I care about Rat Ogres. Rat Ogres are good. Oh, decisions, decisions. For some reason, my brain's just locked up on this. It can't let it go one way or the other. I went with the Cauldron. Because Plague Monks are actually pretty good. The Clan Rats struggle against pretty much all forms of infantry. No matter what faction we're fighting, but the Plague Monks do have the anti-infantry bonus. And they can rip through things. So fine. We'll get them. And like I said earlier, Ple uh, Lore of Plague is actually pretty good. Pretty good. Hello, Orion. You have declared war on me. Cool. I'm probably going to be at war with everyone around me. This is an interesting start. I was a little bit afraid of that, being just stuck here for eternity. But we'll see what our little friend's up to. The Under Empire. Clan Scryer... Okay, I'm not going to say anything. I remember reading something in the FAQ about the Under Empire, but we'll see it when we establish it. I hope it doesn't consume the Engineer of Doom. That would be annoying. I'd like to fight this battle before we call it a day. You're just going to keep sitting in Tobaro? Off to Skaven Blight. Is he coming down here because my Doom Engineer is heading towards Lucini? That's funny. Can I establish an Under Empire in a place where I'm friendly with? That's your a good question. Carefully. I don't know. Hmm. Things to consider. Things to consider. I might be able to. I need to go find um, 
Skrulk. Who are the other? Skrulk, Tretch, and Queek, huh? Man, they couldn't be farther away. I think Queek's the closest. And then we can go north for Clan Mulder. And there's a few new clans over in Lustria, but eh, they'll probably be dead by the time I get there. Who else normally? The Dark Elves? We can go see Nagarond. They'd be a good source of income. Anyone else? Norskin's questionable. High Elves are a no. Lizardmen are a no. Oh, the Tomb Kings. Tomb Kings are probably like me. Especially Arkin. Okay. Well, we'll start sending people out and about. It might be worth developing an Under Empire in Lothurn as well. I don't know what all of the buildings do, but if it's anything like the Vampire Coast thing, then Lothurn's definitely prime target. Boop! Gotta cancel that. Save my money. Alright, what are we looking at? Establish a Warlock Laboratory. Establish an Undercity beneath the target settlement and instantly create this action will kill the warlock engineer Ugh, fine bye bye the under city has been established you can now extend the under empire into this region by building warrens directly underneath the unsuspecting settlement so this is discoverability indicates how close the under city is being discovered but they step by the settlement occupiers above. Most buildings in Undercity increase discoverability, and the region owner can also construct buildings or use heroes to help detect it. Once found, it will likely be destroyed. So negative factors, character, and buildings. Discoverability is 20 out of 90. Oh, there are so many buildings. All right, what are we looking at? Burrows. Okay, so the Warrens. Uh -uh. The underpass. Interesting. Ruination? Rat King War Camp. Food consumed minus five. That could be good as a ton of discoverability. Makeshift workshop. Maintenance cost minus 500. What? Maintenance for what exactly? <laughs> That's my question. Warlock laboratory. Murder holes. Kill perches. Deeper tunnels. Reduces visibility. I don't have enough money to build it. Food. I'm probably getting this. F adding food. Income gained from local settlements income. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We're going to need that. But its discoverability is 80. So we're going to need the thing that reduces it first. Warp token stash income generated. Could be good. Thieves hidey holes. Income came from local settlement income. Hello. We're going to put that in Lothurn, I think. You really have to think this through because some of these at higher levels have like 80 discoverability. 5% chance per turn to expand the Under Empire to an adjacent region. Oh. So we could go put this like in the Empire. <laughs> we could make Under Altdorf and just put this in here. And expand throughout all the empire. Oh, this is cool. Is there an upkeep penalty to making these, though? Is that why there's maintenance reduction? Subterranean strip mine. Oh. Let's go with the food first. Because we need food. So is it up here? Hmm. I don't know. 
I have to look that up. Okay, thank you, advisor. That was very enlightening. I'm actually quite intrigued. Could you... Oh, now I'm thinking. Could you play Skaven Blight, or Clan Scryer, rather, and just hold Skaven Blight? And then just under Empire everything else? Oh, that could be fun. Oh. Maybe I should do that. No, no, no. We're doing actual world... Oops. We're doing actual world domination, like I said, for reals. But... There's going to be some under Empire first. <laughs> because, obviously, I can't leave Skaven Blight without everything going to shit right away. So I'm going to check uh, in the diplomacy after this. I'm saying this out loud so I don't forget. <laughs> I'm going to check my diplomacy with Sartosa to see if they are mad at me that I've established this. Um, hello, someone has a lot of catapults. A foreign hero dwells nearby, my lord. They are particularly good at spotting signs of espionage and may uncover our presence if we are not careful. I'm always careful. Okay, Sartosa. Good evening. Sartosa's most infamous. Ah, uh, so they're mad at the the hero action. So they know that my engineer went there and did something, but they don't know what that something my was. My anger rises like the tide. Don't test it. A done deal. So I might peace out with her for now. See if I can get a trade agreement going. And just infest her instead. That could be taken out of context. Please don't. Does this mean... Discoverability plus 60. Okay. So this will reduce the discoverability quite a bit. I'm currently at 40 out of 100. I think I need to build this. I don't know what else I want to build, though. Sartosa is a powerhouse. Yeah, and they're already at 1,000 almost. They may not be as good as Lothurn, but I think we're going to be uh, taking money from them. So are there any new things for uh, research for this? We're going over here, by the way. We definitely want more Giselle stuff. Oh, here we go. And then made the competition. Ensure loyalty. Rule through fear. Best of the best. This is new, right? I don't remember this being here. Maybe it was. Replaces all clan rat units spawned from the Vermintide Undercity building with Storm Vermin. Oh. Adds an extra clan rat unit to the army spawned by Vermintide Under. Huh. Adds an extra. Okay. Obviously, we're going to be having a lot of fun with that. Where are my schematics? But first things first. We're big in Tobaro. We could put that to unlock. Is it the same plan or a different plan? Devious. Yeah. We'll unlock Devious plans. Why not? And now, let us begin. Actually, I might just auto-resolve this one. Because this is a lot of catapults to fight. Set suit to war fight mode. Did we get anything? Hopefully. More food? Ooh, money is good. <laughs> yeah, we'll take money. Because we have 100. We didn't win anything. Probably should have fought that to get that if I wanted something. But I don't really care. I wanted money. Money is good. And we're going to call that an episode 1. We learned about a lot of things. I am liking what I'm seeing. Hopefully you are too. And we'll have a Doom Flare for the next episode, so that's cool. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope that you have a great day, that you enjoyed, and that you look forward to more world domination. Bye-bye.